Jumping right back into the action, talking about the new kickoff rule, the new kickoff format now that is set to debut currently live. It's 7 p.m. Eastern time. The game is about to kick off in about an hour from now, so it revolves around that, the new kickoff format, the new kickoff rules that we're going to be seeing hopefully tonight, um, hopefully some excitement out of that between the Bears and the Texans, but this has to do with the Kansas City Chiefs, and about two months ago, the Chiefs suggested that their safety, Justin Reed, would be taking some of the kickoffs in this new format with the new rules, making it more likely for the kickers to, you know, have to tackle because just off the top of my head, if I'm stating the rules right, they're, the kicking team, the defending team is not allowed to move until the receiving team fields the ball, they make contact with the ball, and then, you know, the entire play gets going, and that allows more of an advantage for the offense, you know, setting up their blocks and everything like that. The NFL wanting to see more kickoffs in 2024, and it could lead to some kickers having, you know, to throw their body weight around, throwing themselves in there, maybe making a last-ditch tackle to save a touchdown or something like that. Um, honestly, you ideally might not want to have Harrison Bucker out there because in terms of tackling, not his forte, let's say. Not any kicker's forte in that matter. So to avoid injury, perhaps, to Harrison Bucker, you have Justin Reed out there, obviously, for the tackling aspect of it, but also to avoid injury to Bucker and... Justin Reed has, you know, the experience of doing it. We saw him last year where Harrison Butker was injured for a stretch of games or maybe just one game, but Justin Reed came in there, hit a couple field goals, obviously did the kickoffs in that game. So it was exciting. I like the idea of teams thinking outside the box with this. A new format, you know, gets people thinking in creative ways. I would have loved to have seen Justin Reed out there, giving him an opportunity to do that and see how it all plays out, but... Now, over the weekend, the Kansas City Chiefs special teams coach, Dave Taub, said that Butker will be doing most of the kickoffs, if not all of them, because of his kicking accuracy, obviously, and his ability to place the ball anywhere in the landing zone away from the res receivers, ideally, and maybe having it just roll into the end zone or um, having it you know, be avoided that they take the ball out or return it by any means, so... That's really the biggest idea about it. I was disappointed by it, but Tob went on to say that you have to try and kick it away from the returners if you can. Hit hit it in the target zone and skip it into the end zone, possibly for a touchback where the opponent gets the ball at the 20-yard line. That's the ultimate goal on kickoffs, and that makes sense. I mean, it makes sense, but it's the boring way to go. I didn't really like it. I thought... Um, you know, give an opportunity to Justin Reed. He wasn't that bad, and, you know, I wanted to see him do it. I wanted to see how the receiving team now, you know, reacts to that. You don't have a typical kicker out there, so how does that affect the return game? How does that affect you setting up your blocks and everything like that? So, disappointed, yeah, but I kind of understand it, you know. With going over some of the rules, if the ball is kicked directly into the end zone on the fly and not returned, like... You know, the fear is with Justin Reed if he just goes out there and boots it um, because he doesn't have maybe too much experience placing the ball in the landing zone. I don't think anybody does if you're not a kicker. But if you just kick it directly into the end zone or just outside through the back of the end zone for um, a touchback, the ball goes directly to the 30-yard line. So that's really the biggest thing about this, right? You don't want to be giving the opposing team... Uh, better field, you know, position right away just because you kick it out through the end zone or kick it directly into the end zone for a touchback. And again, if you're not a kicker, I would say that's almost impossible to, one, land it perfectly in the landing zone and also keep it away from the receivers and also have it roll into the end zone ideally. And again, if you're not a kicker, it's almost impossible to do all three. And oftentimes it could lead to a botched kick, maybe they kick it too hard, and then they start at the 30-yard line. Teams want to avoid that at all costs, and um, that's really the biggest thing, obviously, with this, but also, um, if it, you know, the 20-yard line scenario, if it goes, rolls into the end zone, and, you know, the team decides to not return it, then it starts at the 20-yard line, and I think Harrison Butker, obviously, with who he is, the experience, and his ability overall, gives you the best chance of doing that. Uh, but realistically, um, 
teams could, I guess, kick it through the end zone and be okay with giving up that extra field position if they decided to, to avoid their kickers being involved, if they really didn't want, you know, uh, Justin Tucker, Harrison Butker, Jake Elliott, perhaps, um, being involved in tackling, then, yeah, you could say, we're just going to kick it through, take the touchback, take the ball at the 30. Our defense is good enough, you know, to withstand that. That could be a strategy, you know, taking some good with the bad, balancing out the, the risk versus reward in that scenario. But I think the Chiefs right now feel comfortable doing that. You know what's funny? I think it's it's a little surprising, I'll say, when um, I hear when I hear teams, you know, be pretty confident about their kickers being able to make a tackle. And of course they're your teammates. Of course you don't want to say, oh, like, oh, they have no chance. But I don't know. Like, if, if we're being honest, like, a kicker trying to make a last-ditch tackle or trying to make a tackle on somebody in today's NFL with some of the receivers that you have, some of the players that are being deployed in the kickoff return game, like I talked about Debo, um... The Steelers also have Cordell Patterson that they signed in that aspect. Some guys that are just blazing fast in that aspect as well. I would uh, I would have just liked to have seen some more realistic reactions, I think, to some kickers, some teammates talking about their kickers making um, some tackles. I felt that it could have been a more cautious approach, a more cautious you know, reaction to having your kickers out there, not this exuberance of confidence that oh yeah like my kicker's gonna make that tackle of course he could he could do that and maybe they'll do it a couple times but repeatedly um isn't something that I think is real realistic and right now it's disappointing that the Chiefs sort of backtracked on this but I'm not giving up hope I think it'll all depend on how it goes throughout the season you know Harrison Butker has gotten hurt already you don't think or hope that that's going to happen again but It has already happened, so Justin Reed could get an opportunity that way, and I think it just all depends on the situation, the circumstance of it all, um, and how it all plays out, but I think this is, uh, but I don't like them, you know, just kicking it out the back of the end zone either, if they do decide to go with Justin Reed, if they decide that he's not really capable of doing all three things, you know, kicking it into the landing zone, keeping it as far away as, as the receivers as possible, and also having it roll, get the appropriate spin on it um, with an awkward shaped ball to roll into the end zone and not out of bounds um, per se, that wrapped up into one is a mo- more of a risk, I believe, for uh, for the Chiefs to do it. Um, so you got to weigh it out. Right now the Chiefs have switched over to the other side, so maybe after a few preseason games they'll change their mind again, but a little disappointed. Um, the risk of Butker also tackling could still be there, so I think they're still considerate with Justin Reed, just depending on the circumstances of it all. But we'll see how it all plays out. You know, it's super neat to think about now how I have an entire segment devoted to the kickoff game because I truly believe that it's going to be something that is tinkered with, changing constantly from game to game, from week to week. And you're going to see some teams have a brilliant strategy to it, a bunch of other teams copying it then. Maybe something completely doesn't work and you have to go through all these different scenarios of where what could work, what is working for other teams and things like that. It's going to be funny and very entertaining to see how teams react to it and how everybody you know plays off of it because this is truly something so new um, to be you know brought into football that it's going to make everything more exciting. Uh, we'll see how it plays out for the Chiefs taking this decision now, but that'll be pretty much everything on that situation. The Chiefs going back on their decision to have Justin Reed do some of the kickoffs in 2024. But with that being said, like I mentioned before, we're going to move into the next segment talking about the Philadelphia Eagles, some of the takeaways from the early portion of their training camp, talking about A.J. Brown going up against their rookie first-round draft pick in Quinion Mitchell, some exciting battles there. Also, Mikai Becton, who they signed in free agency, he's having some looks at right guard instead of tackle, which has panned out pretty well for him so far. And lastly, Cam Jurgens transitioning back to center to inherit that position from the legendary Jason Kelsey. How is that all panning out for the Philadelphia Eagles thus far? I'll give you guys all those details when we return after this break. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 